Well, it's Holy Week, and uh, this is the time where many uh, of uh, us Christians, we, we kind of pull back a little bit, we reflect a little bit more on the goodness and the love of Christ Jesus. And um, I think there's this last week of Jesus' life, there's um, some things that he wanted to say and do that we would get in that moment, that we'd understand, that we'd be able to taste and feel that would bring us hope today. And so I'm gonna set the scene. We're at uh, Calvary, it's Golgotha, it's the Skull Hill where Jesus is being crucified. And so I'm just gonna spend a brief moment here just talking about the why. Why did this have to happen? And um, one of those reasons is that Jesus was being set as an example to all the people that if you mess, uh, you oppose the powers that be, the systems that are in place, the Roman Empire, that this is what's gonna happen to you. This is the punishment. Um, another why is, um, and it's, it's what draws us to Jesus. It's, it's Jesus going to the cross to die for us, to rescue us so that uh, the power, the grip of, of sin and death is done away and we can be restored to the family of God. But there's another one, and I could stop there, but there is another one that um, I think is meaningful. It's, it's the, one of those moments where I think Jesus is saying, this is something that can bring you hope for the, for the uh, generations to come. And that is Jesus on the cross, but yet there's two others on each side of him, two thieves that are hanging on crosses to his left and to his right. And this thief to the left is, is um, joining in with all these other people that are around the cross, mocking Jesus. And this thief says, if you're the Messiah, then prove it. Get yourself down, save yourself, and by the way, take me with you. Then there's this other thief over here to the right, and something has, gone, has been going on in his heart. Something has, has changed, something, something is stirring in him. And uh, he actually rebukes this thief to the left. And I, I actually wonder if, if these thieves were friends, if they were acquaintances, if they went thieving together, which I don't even think that's a word. But um, I wonder if they knew each other. And um, I, he, he actually stands up for Jesus in this moment and he says, how can, you, how can you talk like that? This man, this Jesus, is innocent. He's an innocent man. He doesn't belong here. We, on the other hand, we belong here. We, our punishment is, is, is our penalty. This is, this is what we deserve. And then he says something else that I think Jesus was just waiting for him to get to this place because this is that moment. And this thief to the right says to Jesus, he says, um, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And it's that moment where I think Jesus goes, that's the moment. And I think just it was very few words that he said, um, but it revealed his heart and that he was wanting to go where Jesus was going. He wanted to be with Jesus. He wanted to follow Jesus. And so Jesus answers him and he says, today, you will be with me in paradise. And I think that's that moment that's, that is to bring us hope today. And that moment um, that we're experiencing there between Jesus and this thief to the right is grace. It's grace. You think about this, this thief who's probably committed the worst crimes imaginable and probably thinking there's no way that this Jesus would accept me. But that's the way grace works. He reached out to Jesus and Jesus was ready to give him a grace-filled yes. And maybe where you're at here in this moment, you're feeling distant from God. Maybe you feel a little bit like this, this uh, thief who's, who, who thinks, gosh, this, God's grace, there's, there's no way that it can cover me. And the reality is it can and it, and it will and it does when we reach out, when we reach out to Jesus and we say, I want to be where you are. And so maybe you're feeling those feelings here and my encouragement to you is reach out. Reach out to him. He's waiting for you so that he can say yes to you. So be encouraged. I'll be praying for you. Can't wait to see you guys again.